From above, you can see the size of the problem. But for those on the ground, it may be a different story. We have lived under constant stress, constant duress. We've been under siege for years. Just because we're here and we're an inconvenience, they don't see us as people, they just see us as a problem. Jared Defy has been living in Oakland's Wood Street encampment since last year. This morning, the city began efforts to shut it down and move everyone out. We've identified four individuals who are relocating today into city shelter programs. Latonda Simmons is the acting homelessness administrator for Oakland. She says the goal is to transition the unhoused to city shelters over the next two weeks. The land is being cleared for a new affordable housing project. We will continue that outreach to ensure that we are engaged with everyone, providing them the opportunity to accept city shelter. Simmons says the city's been working with community groups for months to design the shelter program and supporting services. But some homeless advocates don't like what's being done. The city, county and state governments have decided to prioritize real estate development and profits over a basic human right to housing. Kimberly King is a professor of psychology at Laney College and with the Poor People's Campaign. She thinks some of the proposed solutions, like portable homes, doesn't amount to safe housing or meet the needs of the people. We have the science to understand that. Psychologists, social workers, they know how to meet the needs of people. We could do that if we wanted to. You think the money's there? The money is there. Because of policies over the last 10 years or so, it has slowly pushed people out of their homes. Meanwhile, some like to fight, plan to fight to the end. This is my family. This is what we want. And we want to talk to the city. And the only way they're going to really give us any attention is if we resist. In Oakland, Ansel Hassan, ABC 7 News.